Let's fucking crush this. All right. So American McGee's Alice is the name of the game. Um, oh, before we do that, let's let's see, because this game, it only came in the jewel case. So no instruction manual, no big box, no nothing. So what we're gonna do is gonna I'm gonna look up, see if I can find oops. Um, I'm gonna see if I can find the uh, instruction manual PDF or something. American McGee's Alice game manual. Here we go. This is it. This is it. Okay, cool. Um, let's. There we go. Let's zoom in a bit. Is it EA? It is EA Games. Holy crap. Okay. EAZ install guide for uh, install guide. Your guide to trouble and trouble free gaming. It's in the game. Uh, electronic help file. Your game includes... Oh, your game includes that electronic help file. A readme of sorts. Okay. There we go. All right. Goody. Thank you, Goody, with the 300 bits. Throwing money at my face. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, I love it. Okay. So, system requirements. Windows 95, 98, ME, 2000. And, and NT are not supported. 400 megahertz AMD, Intel Pentium 2 processor, 64 megabytes of RAM, four times CD-ROM speed, 600 megabytes of free hard disk space? That's like four or five gigs. Crazy. 16 megabytes OpenGL capable video card, DirectX 7 compatible driver. Got it. Keyboard, mouse, got it. Oh, and a recommended. Okay, so we got to bear in mind, there's a recommended setting. Okay. Clean, whoa. Clean up your system before running the game. Before you install any software, it is critical that, you har that your hard drive be in proper working order. We recommend that you perform regular housekeeping by running scan disk and disk defragmenter. Scan disk. Is that? Is that something that I have to that I can buy? Because I've been influenced. Scan disk. Oh, it's Microsoft Scan Disk. Oh no, it comes with your comes with your PC. Okay. How do I run it? Click the start button. Click computer. Right click the hard drive you want to scan. Okay. So right click the hard drive I want to scan. So my Windows C. Here we go. And then click the properties, tools, under error checking. Okay. Oh, don't don't do it on an SSD. Oh. So I don't need, oh, okay. <laughs> I, I wasn't going to do it anyways, guys. I'm just kidding. Uh, hold on. There we go. All right. So um, I'm guessing we pop the disc in. What is DirectX? I don't care. I don't care. I don't care about that. Check your, okay. Oh, I could run DX, DX uh, diagnosis, diagnostics. All right, there it is. Insert disk one into your CD drive. All right, disk one, how you looking? Oh, you're looking good. You're looking real good. Okay, here we go. Disk one has been inserted. In certain. It's uncertain if disk one is there. Uh, Sykes Kelly, thank you for 64 months. All right, what's that sound? That sound says Alice OA is in. Okay. And then it says the game setup screen appears. Well, it doesn't appear, but there we go. Install game. Install 
game. No, it has to be after. Okay, after I run the setup exe, this one, I bet. Oh, maybe not. It's having some trouble. Will you give him some trouble? Sorry, just rearranging my shit here. Come on now. In there. There you go. Good job. All right. Nothing? Still nothing? What the shit? Hmm. Oh, oh, what does? How much of it? Oh. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. Uh oh. Check the case. There's nothing on the case, man. Oh, yeah, there is. Oh, it's right here. Oh, it works. Hold on. I have. Wait. Do I have it? One second. That doesn't look like the right key, though. This is not long enough. Or that's too long, excuse me. And it's not separated properly. What is the autoplay? There we go. Autoplay just came right up. <clears throat> Install Alice is what I picked. Install. Oh, there we go. Oh, there it is. Okay, hold on. So... Oh, it is. No, this is the right one. I thought it was. Oh. I'm not showing you assholes. You don't get to see it. Okay. Setup will install. So, EA Games. Oh, let's browse. Let's put it in the. There we go. Yeah. Wait a minute. I should probably label it the same label, right? Okay, here we go. Um, I can't copy this. Okay. Yeah. American McGee's Atlas. Okay. Oh. What are you doing? Copy it, please. Thank you. Oh. Browse. I mean, I can just, I can just click through here. 
<clears throat> Not there. There? Not there. Wasn't it just right in the CD ROM drive? Or a CD it's to the C drive? There it is, right there, fucking asshole. There. Good. Next. Typical. Typical. This saga good. Thank you for the 300 bits. I just violently stole some random kid's money to give it to you. Did I do good? Yes, you did good. You did good. Okay. Low memory. 64. Okay. This game, this installs all program data files needed to play the game. Okay. Okay. Typical. Oh, it saves you some RAM space. Save you like, uh, what? 125 in meg 125 megs in RAM space. Or I mean, not RAM, uh, in a hard drive space. Okay, next. Um, set up, we'll add a... Oh. To the programs folder listed below. Yeah, I don't need to do anything. Okay, good. Whatever. Would you like a shortcut to the damn game? Yes, I would, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. I would love that. What, you don't, like, when you, you don't just agree to shit or just click next without reading it, right? When you get an update to, to like, your, I don't know, iTunes or whatever, you read it, don't you? I mean, you should. I'm sure, you know what? Uh, all jokes, like joking aside, I bet, the, is there websites out there that are dedicated to like giving you like the TLDRs of those? Like someone reads it and gives you the cliff note, cliff's notes. Nope, because of legal reasons. Really? Some programs try to install side programs if you just keep clicking next. Oh, yeah, I know, man. Man, I do not miss those days. It's, it's, they still happen, but it was really, really bad back in the day. It's like I had to uninstall McAfee or McAfee, McAfee, however you ever say it. I had to un uninstall that shit. Avast, I've had to uninstall like so many fucking times. Ugh. All right, it looks like it's installing. I don't even need an emulator. I don't need nothing. It's great. Hopefully, I, I, I think. I think we're good. Dude, fuck Avast. See, the thing is, I had Avast for a long time. I think Avast used to be good. And then it wasn't good anymore. And then you don't really even need it anymore. <laughs> Should work fine, but you may need an EA account. Oh, I'm sure I have one somewhere. It's probably Poop Face 79. <laughs> if it's if it's 21 years ago, it might be Poop Face 79. Because that's what my AIM was. <laughs> yeah, 69 was taken. <laughs> that's why 79. <laughs> hey Darty, thank you for 22 months. Oh man, I can't wait. This is gonna be this is gonna be fantastic. This is gonna be fantastic. Please insert the next CD. Okay. I'm coming to you. CD two. And we made sure before that we had both CDs for this. I'm assuming. That there's, since this is the I'm stock, stock jewel case, I'm assuming there's only two discs. Okay. No, hold on.
right? Okay, good. My CD is the F drive for some reason. Are there any updates online for the game? Well, if there are, I will not use them. QCS. I want to play it as it was played in uh, 2000. I remember I had one disc had Alice on it and the other had the cat. Yeah, this one has Alice. I think the other one might have the cat. Back in 19, 2000. Yeah. Uh, well, I've gotten used to say 1990 whatever with cd rom Because the bulk of CD-ROMs came out between, what, 92 and 2003? Or like the, the, older, the older games. Save like, you know, Warcraft and whatnot. World of Warcraft. Have you played Black and White? I have Fluffy Fluffy Bun Bun. I played it one year. I don't remember if it was cd rom or not, but I played it. And I did. It wasn't for me. I don't think those those god or god sim games. I've never really gotten into. Like I've never like gotten into Civ or or uh, Tropico or whatever. I think Tropico is one of those, right? I've never gotten any of those. So are you using old hardware or virtual machine? It depends, Captain Space Junk. If it'll run on my new machine, I'll play it on my new machine. But I do have virtual boxes. Like I have DOSBox, Scum VM, uh, Oracle, Virtu uh, Oracle Virtual Box. I have a, a custom-made Windows 98 VM uh, that one of my longtime viewers gave me, sent me. But yeah, I do use VMs. I would like to see the readme file. I would like to register Alice. Yes, I would. Both of those. Okay. American McGee's Alice. Last few minutes. Okay. Windows operating system. Install general problems. Okay. I think we got it. It will launch in 640 by 480 resolution. And then you can change the resolution again. Oh, good. Uh, player cannot assign any command to the wheel mouse. The wheel mouse? You mean the mouse wheel? Up or down until the game has run and been start restarted. Okay. Speed problems. Okay, we're gonna leave this up. Leave this up here. Now, I did that. Now, where's the where's the register? Where's the, it's? Oh, it's not finishing. Uh oh, it hung up. It got hung up trying to get me to register. Uh oh. Oh, I you do have to close read me. Okay. I didn't know that was connected to it. Okay. I had no idea. I thought I was just opening the file uh, from my PC. But it's not taking me to a registry screen. Oh, he, oh, is this it? Oh, no, that's a... That looks like a fucked up link. Hmm. Oh, E-Reg. Here it is. Okay, let's let's check this out. Oh. Oh. Oh well, no reg. No register. Base. Nope. Tutorial? Nope. I guess we'll just click this. I don't know. Where is this? Oh, it's searching for American. Oh. It's broken. Oh, maybe I need to do, yeah. Yeah, maybe I need to search, do the, the first CD again. Let's read the instruction manual. Um. When the installation process is ended, the completion screen appears. Click finish. You're ready to enter Wonder enter Wonderland. Oh, am I? I probably no, I didn't I didn't play the dig. 
Mr. Blade Brown. And also, you were here yesterday. You think I could finish a game in one day? You probably haven't been following that. How long have you been following Mr. Blade Brown? You've been following for over a year. You should... Oh, wait. No, 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 you haven't. We've been following since May. You should know I don't... I, I take way longer than that to finish a game. Okay, so I'm going to try putting in disc one. So oh, starting the game. Here we go. Insert... No, no it says insert American Me's House disc two into your drive. No, it's all, it's all, it's all right here. This, it was this two. This two is in. Programs, EA Games, Merrick McGee's Alice. Why wouldn't it be right here, though? Nope. Yeah. Okay. Didn't it put? Didn't it put? It should have put these files on my on my on my hard drive, right? No, I know the EXE is on the CD. I know that. I'm just saying, like, why isn't it where they sit like this? Look at the properties of the shortcut. There it is right here. Okay. Yeah, American McGee's Alice, Alice.exe. Oh, it's in the start menu? You think it's in here? What? What the fuck? Okay. Oh, it, it tries to open a web page. I don't want to do that. EA Games, there it is. Okay. There's uninstall Alice right there. It doesn't have anything. It doesn't have an executable in here. Did Windows Defender eat it? Maybe. Hmm. The, no, the CD, the CD has an executable, for sure. See, the CD has this right there. Yeah. Oh, please log in with ad administrator privileges. Oh. This program might not have run correctly. Try run the program. Okay, using compatibility settings. Ah. Installer's broken on Windows 10. It skips several files from copying. You have to download a fix online, I think. Oh, okay. Well, in lieu of doing that, you know what would work? You know what I bet would work? Windows 98. I bet Windows 98 worked just fine. All right, let's, since this game is from 2000, let's, let's jump this shit all the way up to, what, M Pendium, Pendium MMX233. Maybe we do it on Windows XP? I can do it on Windows XP. Let's, let, we, we can do that. Let's try that. Let's try that. Sure, why not? Check minimum specs. Minimum specs are as follows. Nope. 
recommended. 32 megabytes OpenGL cable video card, free 620 megabytes free hard disk space, eight times fast. Yep, yep. I think we we're fine. I think we I think we I think we XP's got this handled. How can you play a 2000 game not on Windows ME? Because I don't think it's compatible. Windows 2000 and Windows NT are not supported. Oh, it does say Windows ME. I don't have it though. I do not have ME, I don't think. But I could be wrong. I don't, I, it, to be frank with you, I don't know what NT or ME are. I've never, I don't know, if, I don't remember ever using Windows ME or Windows NT. NT is Windows XP. Oh, but it says it's not supported. Recommend spec says 500 megahertz Pentium 3. Okay. Well, let's see where we're, where we're at here. Uh, system? Processor. Mm, nope. Um, should I do, should I do two or four? Maybe I should do four, do four processors or just two. Okay. Just two. Okay. We'll just do or one, just one and one. Okay. Very much one. All right. Sounds good. Um, storage. Okay, we got we got enough storage. We got seven point seven two gigs. Should be all right. Um, now, no nope. system. Now. When you, Sitley, when you were saying make sure it has that whatever hertz processor, I don't know where to find that in the virtual machine. I know how to find it with the thing Hukin gave me, but I don't know how to check like what it's, what uh, processor it's emulating. But I'm guessing it'll be fine. You can't, it emulates your normal processor. What? Oh, don't worry about it. I thought it lists processor choices. Oh, okay. Let's, let's, let's fire up XP and see what happens. See if XP is, uh, XP was like, Arguably the best OS Windows ever put out, right? Remember that? I remember. <laughs> you're, you're goddamn right it was. <clears throat> Shut up. Okay. My computer. Oh, you're not. Oh, I didn't put it in. I got to put this one back in. There you go. It should be hosting the the F drive. What the fuck? Stop that. Don't spit it out. Don't spit it out of me. What the fuck? Stop! Just stop! Stop trying! <laughs> God damn it! Oh.
Okay. Stop. Stop. Stop it. I said stop. Why are you why do you keep trying to do this? S turn off the computer. Stop it. Well, all I all I want I'm I'm what I'm going to do is Or not, I guess. There. Okay. What I want to do is uh, I'm going to insert the disc before opening XP. So the disc is already there. So it doesn't try to run the autoplay thing. Which is one of the luxuries of using a virtual machine. All right. Oddly enough, done translates in binary to no. Oh, does it? Sweet. Oh shit, I'm far behind. Oh, I missed so many people. God damn it. Ambulancer, thank you for 56 months. Uh, A start, B, uh, oh, A start, B select. Thank you for the tier one sub. Hey, Oberseeker. <laughs> Sorry, I get in the, I get tunnel vision, man. I get in the zone when I'm doing this troubleshouting. So I apologize. We're missing you 17 fucking minutes ago. Um, Charchini, thank you for the two months. Fallen for Fiction, thank you for 32. Shut Dog with 22. He Mance with the 56. I've been listening to cult podcasts and they mentioned that people often find it impossible to leave after a certain time because they are too invested. So here's to many more months. <laughs> thank you, Shut. Or thank you, He Mance. Also, uh, Coin Healer, thank you for the 16 months and Percival Valkyr with the eight. Good to have you back, guys. Okay. My my pooter. Where's my my pooter right there? There it is. Look at oh look at that. That looks cool. That looks cool. Uh if that happens again, control control shift escape to bring up the task manager. Okay, okay. I will. Oh, also. The fuck did that? What did I do? Now, God damn it! Someone hacked me, dude. I hate it. Someone totally hacked me. All right, um. Full screen mode. That's all I wanted. Just wanted to be full screen mode. <laughs> oh, oh. One more time. I'm gonna hide hide it from your eyes. I don't know if I need to, but whatever. Yeah. Next. Yes, create it. Go ahead. Typical. Yes, please. Next. Yes. All right, here we go. Seems like it's gonna be fine now. So whoever asked if I use emulators or, or virtual machines, here you go. I do, indeed. And while we're waiting, probably gonna take about, I don't know, six minutes, seven minutes. Anybody wanna ask me, ask me anything? Wanna have a conversation about anything? Good time to, do an AMA. No, nope. All right, we'll just sit here in silence then. That sounds good. 
How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing well. Thank you, class. I'm doing great. Pineapples on pizza? I don't like pineapples anywhere. So, no. Um, should I buy some weed? Well, yeah. Obviously. How's my balls? You know, funny that you mentioned that. Funny that you asked that, Tomato Miles. Two days ago, I, it felt like one of, my, one of my balls was, like, slightly twisted. It was just, like, this weird, like, ugh, like, uncomfortable. Like, it didn't hurt. It was just, like, ugh, I could feel it. Like, it felt like, it, like, one of my balls was twisted. And I, was, and I got, like, a little worried. I was, like, is that an after effect? Or my, is my vasectomy, like, unfolding? So, <laughs> um, but it went away. It's fine now. It, and it was very, like, super light. So I'm guessing, like, I must have, like, hit myself in my sleep or something. I don't know. Um, what's something you've always wanted to do but either haven't had the time or money? Um, I don't know. <laughs> live, live another life. Like a whole other lifetime, like uh, John Luke Picard did with the uh, whatever episode, the Penny Whistle episode, or the Whistle episode where he learned how to play it. That I would do that. Um, how do you feel about Celery? I don't know what that is. S e l l e r i. I don't know what that is. S E L L E R I. You mean celery? Celery. Or there's Franco, Franco Celery, who was born in uh, Bologna, Bologna, who was born in Bologna, Italy. <laughs> I like celery, though. Celery's great. Um, Picard's flute is the name of the episode. No, it's not. Inner Light is the name of the episode, right? Maybe I don't know. Oh, bunk. Uh, testicle, testicular. Uh, excuse me. Testicle tor torsion should be taken seriously. Usually they untwist, but if it doesn't, you can lose your ball if it fully twists. But you'll know because it feels like someone kicking the nuts. Oh no! If it was anywhere near serious, I would have contacted my uh, my urologist. I think that's the urologist is the doctor that checks your balls, right? Pretty sure. I know it was a urology clinic, but I got my vasectomy. Uh, yes. And so, oh, next CD. Oh, oh, next one, next one, next one. Got it, got it. Got it. Yep. One with Alice. One with a cat. Pretty cool. All right, Cheshire Cat. Head on in there. Can you stand on your head? Oh. What? Stop it. What? Oh, fuck. That's right. I have to unmount it and remount it. Um... Devices, there we go. Optical drives. I have to uh, host it and unhost it. So I have to unhost it. And then rehost it. Yep, there it is. Alice, yep. There. Forgot I have to do that. If I change disks, I have to rehost. Um. Do you have a list of all the CD ROMs you're playing? Yes, it's uh, uh someone put hashtag poll in the chat. That's the list of all the games that are up for playing this CD ROMathon. Favorite pizza toppings? Pepperoni. Pepperoni, extra cheese, and then any usually any meat is fine. But I I honestly I, I simple man with simple taste. I love just a straight up pepperoni pizza. I like the thin crust too. Um, oh my god, have you seen the clip of Picard playing the flute? It's not his hands. It's a stunt double. It's the stunt double's hands. No! Ruined it! You ruined it! Why would you tell me that? I hate you. You'll know they twisted, believe me. I had testicular torsion and they had to remove 
Remove one of mine. The pain is excruciating. Holy shit, really? Damn, dude, that sucks. Uh, cake or pie? Cake. Cake. I... Vegetables I can do. Fruit. It's got... It's only certain fruits do I like the taste of. Fruits are not a... Not something I enjoy a lot. Um... And I think it's, it has to do with the sweetness of it. Anything that's sweet, I'm very uh, finicky about. Because sweet, like, can go, like, can, can be really bad for me. Like, rum, I can't do rum because of the sweetness. Uh, it has, the sweetness doesn't, it makes it icky for me. Um, like, if they sweeten up cough syrup. Uh, but yeah, like, pies and stuff. Like, I don't, like, no fruit pies and stuff. Ugh, blah, blah, blah. If I eat fruit, it's usually raw. Like, I'll, I'll eat a banana or an apple or an orange, but I'll, I won't have it cooked or anything. Milk first or cereal guy first? Actual Wood, are you, like, with the FBI, are you testing to see if I'm a fucking sociopath or something? Cereal first, obviously. Obviously. Are you out of your fucking mind? Milk is, it like... <sighs> It's hard to judge how much milk you need without the fucking cereal in the bowl. You look at the bowl, you fill it up with how much cereal you know you'll eat. And then you put milk in. You put too much milk in, it fucking ruins the entire cereal. Sorry, anyway. Um, setup is finished. Okay, I would like to sit now. I don't think I'm going to register. Well, you know, I mean, let's, let's see if it'll register for me. Will, will it do it? So if I close this, what happens? Here we go. All right. Please take a few moments. Okay. I will register. First name. Uh, first name is... Oh, come on. Come on. Figure it out. Fuck, why aren't you working? Oh. The keyboard is, suddenly isn't working. What the fuck? Hmm. I just want to make sure my keyboard's working. It's not, it's not even, it's not registering it. That is so weird. Can I, uh, oh, so that works. Oh, oh, something else was using it, I guess. I don't know what the fuck just happened. I have no idea. Okay. Zeke T third company. Oh, yep. Company. I got to do company. Yeah. Let's see. Um, I just moved here. I always forget my address. It is there we go. Uh eight seven one four ten parkway number one three one. Okay. Four, ten. USA. Oh, two, two, nine. Colorado. Nope. Colorado. C O. Nope. Oh, guys, go see first. Okay. There we go. Oh, C string guard. Don't ruin it, dude. <laughs> Don't ruin it. Oh, man. <laughs> so Sidley's trying. Sidley was trying. <laughs> yeah. All right. 
it's my UPS box, guys. This is where you can send me stuff. If you want to send me anything, that's where you send it to. Um, is there? A, oh, there is an X. Okay. So I don't need to fill out anything else here. Birth date. Let's do August 9th, 1983. Next. It was a gift. Oh. Oh, wait. So you can buy it at CompUSA Electronics Boutique, Sam's Club, Babbage's. Never heard of Babbage's. Office Depot, other. There we go. In purchasing the game, what influenced your decision? Article review, magazine advertisement, radio advertisement, TV advertisement, promotional offer, direct marketing. I don't know what direct marketing is. Uh, price. Oh, the price. For sure. Familiarity with brand name, recommendation from in-store sale person. Yeah, price. Price. It was free. It was a gift. All right. If you have a modem, click send via modem. Modem and internet connection. Oh, send your registration electronically using our toll-free telephone number. If you have a modem and internet connection, send via internet. If you have a fax machine, click print for faxing. Okay. There you go. Save it there. There you go. Are you, are you, did you do it? I don't see it. Oh, I oh I have to change the name. Oh, okay. What? Well, stop. There you go. This is the one. All right. Um. American Weeds, Alice. Reg. Save. There it is. All right, your registration has been printed. Please fax, okay, to the... Oh, number on the printout. Okay. Perfect. Fuck. Oh, there's the... Okay. Let me just look at it here. Ask me later, please. Thank you. There we go. Faxes form to 650-628-5999. No cover sheet needed. I had 13th birthday, had 18th birthday. Mmm. Yes. Okay. Oh, the key is showing? Well, what can you do with that? Does it, will, it, will it render my ability to play the game invalid? Like, will I not be able to play the game if you have the key that I gave you? I didn't think so. Shit. Oh my God. What's going on here? Oh God. Oh, could not load OpenGL subsystem. What the fuck? Uh oh. Uh oh. Hmm. Now, isn't there something that I can do? Oh, VirtualBox can't emulate a 3D FX card. Oh. Time to install glide drivers. I don't know what that means. Yeah. 
I'm gonna put in the <laughs> God, I hate it. I hated this. I hated having to do this every time. Put in a new disc. I'm gonna check the first disc for a setup or something like that if I if I can work it like that. Yep, okay, good. Gotta unhost it and rehost it. There we go. Install DirectX. I should have the right one though. This should have the right DirectX already installed. Oh, it doesn't even allow me to. Look at that. Okay. There we go. Okay. Set up. Son of a bitch. Oh, modify, repair, remove the program. Oh. Yes. Uh, GL setup is what we want then. You're saying. This one. Ah, here we go. GL setup only supports 95 and 98. I fucking knew it. I knew I should have done 98. Damn it. Oh, you said try anyway? <sighs> well, I'm going to uninstall it. I don't want to I don't want this taking up my hard drive space on my virtual machines here. So, let's uh let's do this. Remove it. Next. Yes. Oh, shit. Wow, that was fucking That was pretty fast. Damn. Okay. Turn off the computer. Turn it off. Uh, Silas Nam, thank you for the 40 months. Is Salga gifting a sub to Pixel Dot, who now has three years, baby? Oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus, oh, shit on my dick. That's right. Ice Kaiser was six months. Can't, can't watch off him, but much love. Thank you, Ice Kaiser. I appreciate you. Tell that motherfucker I appreciate him. I, I stole that from a fucking Tom Segura bit. I just I can't stop saying it. Uh, Captain Space Junk, thank you for the five months. Buck, Nick, and Cook with 50 and White Paper gifting out five subs to Amber Don, the Aldron, Wyo Crow, Grave Thrasher, and Dear Devil. Hail, Berserker. <laughs> thank you. Uh, also, Tensho, thank you for the 16 months. Okay, close that. Is it? It doesn't say open the background. Okay, it doesn't. You're good. All right. I, see, my original idea was do Windows 98, man. That was my original plan. And someone said, oh, why not XP? You got XP, do the XP. I'm like, man, fuck XP. Okay, so what do we need for this? 500 megahertz or faster Intel Pentium 3 processor. Is this... They only go up to the highest is 300. Damn it. Oh, it's got to be AMD. Oh, change the socket. There we go. Change the socket. And we're going to change it to. Um, hmm, there's a lot of them. I don't, I don't know. I don't know which one we should, Atari? We 
Before you do all this, have you tried copying over the missing files from your virtual machine to your Windows 10? No, I haven't. Super 7? Where's the... Where's Super 7? I don't... I don't... Super... Where's Super? Super... Samsung. S Samsonite. Samsonite. I was way off. It's at the bottom. Okay. Oh, 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 Super 7s. Okay, there we go. Perfect. That's our, okay. Now, Intel. Uh-oh. Do I do an AMD? Ah, 500. There it is. Boom. K63500, right? Okay, 128 megabytes of, of ramage. We want it to be at at least eight times speed. So let's put it at eight, right? I'm not going to touch that. I don't know what that is. Okay. Let's just, let's see what happens. Let's, uh, let's fuck this pig. Never mind. It didn't like that. Okay. Pick Pentium 3 from the list. What list? Pentium 3? I'm guessing the machine is, is the, the CPU is the thing that's fucking it up. Oh, Intel. Oh, in, well, they, they don't have Pentium 3. It's like, it, it just has the uh, a number behind it. Oh, Pentium 3 used the 370 socket. So the 370 socket is not there, it looks like. Yeah, my, I might not, I mean, this, my virtual machine might not work. Might not be fast enough. It might be just like too far in between to be emulated. Intel socket 370. Oh, it's a socket seven. Oh, Intel advanced Intel. Oh, no, that's seven. Okay. There's the... Sh Shuttle, Epochs, Asus, Asus. That's what I have. It isn't in the list. Okay. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see if it's on this one, though. Oh, I hate. Oh, fuck. Windows 98 runs really badly on this virtual machine. All right. The settings for this one. System, here we go. Now this is the Windows 98 settings for the Oracle. Can VirtualBox even emulate 3D? I don't know, man. How about looking in the tab CPU? And now the machine to find the processor model. Hmm. 
Oh, display tab for graphics. Okay. Enable 3D acceleration. I don't know if that matters to, to anything. Oh, the oh other emulator. Okay. Voodoo, yeah, voodoo graphics. That's good. That sounds sound blaster, obviously. First line, minimum. Windows 95, Windows ME. No, it says Windows 2000 and Windows NT are not supported. These ones are fine. These 2000 NT are not. It says at least. So hold on a second here. I uninstalled it from XP, didn't I? Yeah. Let's try compatibility mode. See what happens. I shouldn't have uninstalled it. That was an MB. That was my bad. Yep, got to do another install, unfortunately. Sorry, guys. It's going to take a minute. And also, I got to put the key in. All right, everybody shut your eyes. Nobody look. Nobody look. There, nobody looked, right? I would please yeah i shouldn't have uninstalled it my bad my bad all right now i'm going to see if if this doesn't work i don't think that it's it's still if it's still in the spirit of cd romathon as long as i played off this off the disc to take the files that are not being copied if i can get them to copy over to xp grab them from this and put them on my on windows 10 it's the, it's the files that would have installed off of the disk anyway. They're just not doing it. Zeke, your girl is hot, dude. I know, man. Ventu. She is hot. And also, she got nice titties. Banging ass. And her vagine is... And I've seen... Uh, floating around somewhere in the rumor mill that someone someone posted naked pictures of my girlfriend on the internet. So if you wanted to find them, I bet you could. <laughs> uh, Jimmy Shoes with 11. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back. Thank you so much, Jimmy Shoes. And there's a demonic knight with a tier one sub. Hail Berserker! Thanks so much. Uh, to posting them and to finding them. Why? Where specifically? I need to know exactly where so I can avoid them. Yes, you're going to want a blacklist. Um, oh God, what was what was the 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 synonym that people were using? It was. Uh, like solitary oscillators or something like that. What was it? Using Windows, more like Windows. Am I right, Zeke? 
Yeah, kids have fun. Uh, just warning coming, the disc files is legal alteration of the product. And if you do it on stream, I'll have no choice but to report you. Real Jonas brother, I'm not giving it to anybody else. This was a gift from someone to me. I own them. Go fuck yourself. Report away. Have a good time. And tell the bonus Jonas that I said, hey, what's up? Sorry I didn't make the ban. <laughs> okay. Next. Now, you got to unmount it or unhost it, rehost it. There's a fourth Jonas brother. Yeah. And I, I'm not kidding. Like I heard it in an interview, they, they call him the, the bonus Jonas and he's not in the band or anything. He's not involved with their music. At all, I don't think, but this interview was a long time ago. So I don't know if anything's changed since then. All right, Frankie Jonas. Zeke, sure, if you have nothing for so long, the ground meat is tasty, a.k.a. Katie, but nothing compares to steak. I say my wife and your wife have a butthole off. I'll take that bet. Good job, Scott, good job. You son of a bitch, how dare you? My lady's butthole will beat yours any day. There's a fifth brother with the condition too. The boneless <laughs> Oh my god. That was a stretch, Wiggles, and I, I salute you for trying. Imagine being that fourth Jonas. No, sweetie, you weren't a mistake. You're a bonus, Jonas. Well, like, wasn't there, um... Remember, like, the Bee Gees, like, Barry Gibb, Andy Gibb, like, the Gibb family, like, I, I'm, I'd imagine there was a, at least, like, one brother or sister in that that didn't do the music and didn't get, like, millionaire status. They're just like, God damn it. Or, like, the Jacksons, man. It had to be another Jackson that didn't, that didn't make it, right? Or did, or did all of them? Because the Jackson 5 were all brothers. There's Janet. She made it, obviously. But was there one we haven't heard of? It's called Jim Hanks Syndrome. Hmm. How about the third Manning brother? Each one has a fucking Super Bowl. Oh, there's a third Manning? I didn't know that. His two brothers have Super Bowl rings. Oh, didn't they do commercials with him, though? I thought they might have done commercials with the third Manning, didn't they? Oh, he got hurt in high school. Oh, okay. All right. Nope. Nope. We did all that before. Okie dokie. Now. Is it, do we run this? This, we run the, the shortcut in compatibility mode. Is that right? Or not? If we were going to try that, if that will work. Okay. Run this program, compatibility, Windows ME. There it is, right there. Apply. Okay. See what happens. Nope. I need OpenGL subsystem. Missing glide installation. Assuming no 3D effects available, shutting down QGL.
Oh, install. Okay, hold on. You're saying. Oh, that's in the. Oh, fuck. It's on the other disc. God damn it. This will fix the issue. The, the Zeus end glide. You know, one of those hot new, 3D F hot new 3D FX graphics card. They have 3D acceleration. I think this has 3D acceleration, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure it does. Wait. Um, there we go. Oh, hardware. No. No, no, not that. There, yeah, see, enable 3D acceleration right there. It should be fine. That's not the problem. Oh, okay. So you're saying this is what I have to get? Z, can I meet your girl in person? I'd imagine if you go to conventions and stuff, Ventu. But, I mean... That goes for anybody. If she has like a meet and greet or something, then yes, absolutely. And Ventu also, it's not my permission you need to ask. It's hers, homie. Um, XP came with OpenGL, right? I thought, I mean, you would think so, right? So you said, hold on, let me, let me close this down. Let me put that first disc back in and see if that has the, let's try that fix that, that before we go downloading files from a fucking possibly sketchy website, let's see if we can get the shit off of that first disc. Wait. All right. Full screen on host F. Let's try that. There we go. Yep, that does work. Okay. God, I hate this. Can we just view the details, please? Thank you. All right, so the GL setup. This is the one we want, right? This is the one who said, run it in compatibility mode for Windows 98. Apply, okay. See what happens. Could not load. What? Yes, I have installed guest editions. Yes, I have. Does anyone know what this means? Specified procedure could not be found. Installation did not complete. Would you like to roll back the changes that were made? No 3D FX. So I'm 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 actually missing a driver. Okay. Say no? No. Oh, resume. Oh, I have to say no. The GPU handles the 3D effects, not OpenGL. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, just out of curiosity, um,
let's see here. So program files, EA games. Okay. See, here's all the, here's all the files, a few of which could not be copied onto Windows 10. I got base, I got ereg, I got tutorial, but I didn't get the, this one or any of these copied over. So if I did, if I just copied all that, run DX Diag, okay, uh, okay. Um, run. Yeah. See, that was last thing I did before, okay. Okay. So what do you what do you need me to find here? Oh, 9.0c is fine. Oh, okay. Display. Oh, direct 3D acceleration not available. So it's missing. Is this what it's missing right here? Because of the VM. Yeah, because of the virtual machine. Sure, sure. All right. Why does control H do shut me down? Why does it do that? That shouldn't happen. Damn it, fuck. Oh God. Yeah, it must be halted. Control, I thought control, oh, it's control F you fucking Dipshit. God damn, dude. Ugh. Okay. Enable 3D acceleration. Graphic controller. Would the graphic controller need changing? But it won't let me. Oh, and it enables server recording. Oh, this is a recording. I don't need I don't need to fuck with any of this. I might, I might not even have it. I might not even have the right thing. Well, what we're gonna try now is we're going to uh, try and take the files off of that and put them onto this, which we should have open. There we go. Which we should have open, not there. Uh, where are you? Where are you? You're in program files, right? Nope. Regular program. Nope. Oh, it's in, in here. Idiot. Right there. Okay. So this is where we need to put them. We can copy the files over and put them there. See what happens. Let's fuck around and find out, huh? Let's fuck around and find out. Uh, you program. There we go. There, fucking just right here. Jesus. No. Bingo. There we go. Now, I don't know if this one's enabled it, but I used to be able to click and drag from the virtual machine to my uh, real machine or whatever, how you ever say it. Oh, yep, drop, dropping data. 
So I can drag and drop and replace. Okay. Yeah, it didn't copy. See, it didn't have. It didn't copy all over the, over all the things. Okay, so fucking administrator. Fuck you. Okay. Did it did it work? Hold on, let's try this. Uh properties. Compatibility. Boom. Run it with Windows ME. If sound goes all janky, see tweaking sound and okay, if it if it goes janky, I'll ask you again, Ninja. Try 98 whammy. Okay, there we go. Apply. Okay. Come on. Troubleshooter, what's going on? Oh. I change it to Windows XP Service Pack 3. Test. No. 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 Yes, guest edition are installed in the virtual machine. I'm sure they are. Okay, what the f what is this shit? End glide. This is what Does this is this what my my VM needs to to run it? Like I would install it with XP. Nglide was a competitor to DirectX. Oh, okay. Well, let's look at that then. <laughs> well, now I'm sad, Panda. <laughs> Okay. Oh, download and run this fix file. Virus uploaded. Um, our American Wiki's Alice Windows 10 fix program will copy the missing files from CD-ROM and fix the missing shortcuts. Mm. That's cheating. I have to run it off the disk. I can't copy. The, if you copy the files from the disk, it's, you're not playing it off of the CD. What I did was I, I got all the files. So how would I upgrade, how would I get my, my XP to uh, run the shit it needs to run? Is it that, is it that, uh, that glide thing? Oh, it sounds more like it fixes the install. It still, it still should need the CD to run though. Okay.
Okay. Try changing the adapter to SVGA in here. To the the graphics controller. See what happens. It should it should run in there, right? Yeah, yeah uh, American McGee's Alice, right there, right? That's where, or or should it run in the program files? Changing the custom director. Okay, so I was right. All right. Yeah, don't create that. Thank you. Okay. Fix applied. Enjoy the game. Okay. I will try. I will try to enjoy this game. Shit's happening, I think. Oh my God, shit is happening. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Also, disc one is in. Shouldn't it be disc two? Oh, I can't, oh, there's a setting. Hold on. I gotta try, I, I mean, I'm gonna try something here. Both, both discs are out. Oh, when you install the game, it copies all the files from the CD. CD is for music and copy protection. That's it. So, the CD is needed for audio. So, is it disc two then that I need to put in? Sound driver, Miles? What the fuck is Miles? Oh, headphones probably, right? Copyright, oh, CDS copyright, nothing else. It's like the key. It doesn't have the music though? Okay. Please know that you still need a original CD in the drive to play the game. Okay, let's let's try it then. 
Or let's actually let's let's pop out the disc. The disc is not in the PC now. See what happened. Oh. No, no, don't do it yet. Don't do it yet. How come I can't do anything? Okay. So Alt F4 didn't do it. Um. What I'm wondering is, did the did that did this exe, this Win 10 fix for American Mickey's Alice, did it like bypass the disc? Because I know, like later on with CD in the life of CD ROMs, you didn't need the CD ROM like necessarily in there to play the game at like at all times. But did it break the game? Like, is it in the spirit of CD ROM to keep playing or CD ROMathon to keep playing it like this? It's hard to say. Yeah. Okay. Because it says it copies the missing files from CROM and fixes the missing shortcuts. Okay, insert your American McGee's Alice CD1 now. The installer missed a bunch of files and the game will start. By running this fix, the missing files are copied. Please note that you still need your original CD in the drive to play the game. Some of the files in the installer may be under copyright, but we'd be here until the end time we actually try to get permission to use them. So take the chance nobody cares. Oh. Since the only use anyone who owns a CD ROM pretty much qualifies it for use anyway. Hmm. Yeah. But what's that thing? Okay. So and glide two point one oh. You can now play your three D FX glide games. Oh, that was easy. This won't work. Okay, well, I mean, let's let's find let's find out. Shall we? You don't have direct 3D. So it it needs that first before this will work. Okay.
You can't emulate OpenGL. Glide and Direct 3D are both graphic APIs to use one or the other. Oh, God damn it, MMO! You fucking, you got me on that one! <laughs> uh, Nurio, thank you for the six months. Windows X Pizzle, are you kidding me? Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, that's right. Simonos, thank you for the 57. Geek Tanic, thank you for the Prime Sub. Hail Berserker. <laughs> also, Glacial Lana, thank you for 26 months. And MMO with 300 bits. Uh, Toaster Nose. Oh, wait. One uh, run web setup for direct exo downloads the missing files. So nothing is happening. It's it has it has bricked my shit. <laughs> yeah, it totally crashed. Oh, look at this. Look at, look at, this is what it's trying to do right here. What is this shit? Holy crap. Oh, when you try, oh, when you change the window size of the VM. Oh, is it? Oh, weird. Oh, I, I probably have to do this, huh? Yeah, it's a tower of error, huh? Doesn't look like anything to me. Hit escape. Oh, there we go. Escape, we'll close it. Look at that. Nice. Okay, cool. Windows, a Windows XP aborted. Indeed, it was aborted. All right. So you said change. Someone said change something to something. What is it? Oh, Windows Direct 3D was removed from the virtual box in 6.1. Really? SVGA, there we go. Invalid settings detected. That, yeah, why, why are you doing that? SVGA won't work, okay. Oh. The virtual machine is configured to use 3D acceleration. It's only where you have a different graphics controller. Either disable 3D acceleration or switch to required graphics controller type. Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> Only the base VGA driver works. And they move 3D acceleration. You need from it and oh. Okay. Can I do a previous version? I am running the most recent version. Okay. Do I have to get a previous version? <coughs> well, I tried the best I can, brother. Those sites uh, look like the best I can find so far. There. Okay. Yes, VBox SVGA was on the list. Yes, it's right here. VBox SVGA was on the list.
Oh, it only works on Vista and later. Oh, okay. Yeah, it doesn't work with, it says it, it won't work with uh, 3D acceleration, whatever that means. <coughs> um. All right, hold on. Let us. So this one doesn't do it either then. This virtual box, this Windows 98 custom made one. It it won't have the the 3D shit that that we need, right? Is that what you're saying? Unless less like this is it's in here. But I, I don't know if this, I don't know if this even matters here. You will need to install the Voodoo drivers. Well, I have, it says Voodoo graphics right here. Voodoo type, Voodoo 2, Voodoo Graphics, Obsidian, like, you cannot, okay, so you're saying I can't emulate it fast enough to be playable, so it will never work. I mean, it'll never work in a virtual machine is what I'm, what I'm asking. Well, I mean, I have the. Like, <laughs> I can go Pentium Overdrive MMX 200 is the highest this one will get. Without a custom fix program. <clears throat> yeah, I probably already installed that one. Yeah. Well, I got it earlier. <clears throat> hmm. Oh, is it not even going to kick on? Oh, it's not even going to kick on now. Now you f we all fucked it. We fucked it up. Bad. It's terrible. Everything sucks. All right. Well, this two is in. We've got the Alex Alex here here. Oh, there it is. Now it's figuring it out. I just want to try this once. Oh shit, it's got oh, a couple of things are running at the same time. Stop. Just get oh god. How many instances of this do I have running? Close that. There we go.
Uh-oh. What happened? What happened? Hard reset. Nope, nothing. Here we go. Try one more time. There we go. I had I had too many running at once. Energy Star EPA Pollution Preventer. There we go. Okay. It's just a different emulator, Vork. Yeah, baby. In case you forgot. Yeah. Oh, man. What are you doing here? Oh, that's right. I forgot. It's Windows 98. It's going to take a second. I had it running before. Yeah, but it, it, I just, it seemed like I cracked the disc and I didn't want to do that. Like if I could run it without the disc, it doesn't seem right, but it's possible it could run without the disc. Okay, so there we go. Direct 3D acceleration enabled. Direct 3D accel. The file uh, is uncertain. Okay, so do you think this? I mean, this might work, right? <clears throat> wait audio c wait a minute why are you seeing that why is it seeing it as an audio cd it's definitely not that oh i don't have to, oh i have just two in I'm a giant asshole. <clears throat> Let's try it one more time. Knock that shit off. Go into the fucking thing and don't spit it out. Fucking auto run is fucking with my shit. God damn it, this. Ugh. Stop, don't do it. Stay in there. Stay. Damn it, you rotten asshole. How do you turn off auto run? How do I turn it off in Windows 98? Or, or... no, it's no, it's turning it on in, in Windows 10. Turn autoplay, autoplay?
Oh, off. Jesus, is that all? That's all I need to do? Seriously? Man, fuck you, game. Con control alt page down. Remember that. There. Okay. See what happens, man. Okay. While this is doing its thing.